I'm the lone long ranger. Shout out to the Navy SEALs, Sniper Division. Pow. King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I pop. King Carter, King Carter. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, I pop, King Carter here. It's time for episode two of this NBA 2K16 wish list. I'm going to hop right into it. A lot of people over Twitter seem to want to know my input on what I think should be added to my career for next year. Now, uh, I did a little poll over Twitter. Make sure you're following. But I put a little poll, you know, fave or retweet for whatever topic I wanted to do. And the favorites were insane. So here we go. So the first thing that NBA 2K16 needs for my career is the draft combine. We cannot have another year of my career without this combine. If the combine doesn't get added back to the game, I don't think it ever will. And I'm honestly, I'm gonna stop asking for it. We need the full package. We need every event within the combine to be there. That means the media days, the training, the going to go see other teams and talk to head coaches and talk to staff and everything like that. We need the full effect of the draft combine. Now, of course, a lot of people are going to say, well, what about the summer league? And what about that? Isn't that after the NBA draft? Come on, guys. Now, check it out. We need team workouts. Now, say you're going to be maybe top three to five lottery pick, right? You should be able to go to, I would say, maybe three to five different teams of your choosing to work out for that coach and team. So, say, for instance... David iPod King Carter wanted to become a Sixer for next year, right? And I say, you know what? Let me go try out for the Sixers. Let me go talk to the staff with a one-on-one -on -one situation, you know, go out to their camp and see how things are done and, you know, kind of get the essence of things. And, of course, you can add a little bit of cut scenes into it, make it all dazzle, farazzle, whatever you want. But I think that draft combine and team workouts definitely need to be in there. Now, let's talk about the NBA draft for a second. Now, of course, this year you had the choice to go undrafted, but really it wasn't a choice. You had to go undrafted. You couldn't pick one or the other. So for next year, how about we do this? How about you can go drafted, you can go undrafted, or you can go to the D League. Now, what I mean by this is it's somewhat of a choice to develop your player skills before he gets onto the main stage. Now, of course, we haven't had the D League and NBA 2K in years. And uh, to be honest, I ain't never make it to the D League. Your boy was great. But what I'm saying to you guys is say, for instance, some people want to get a feel of how they build arenas or how the main teams look down on the teams in the D League and say, hey, you know what? This is how we're going to pull up a person from a 10-day contract. Not say this guy went undrafted from the streets. Nobody ever heard of him. And all of a sudden, he's in the, the NBA on a 10-day contract. No. How about he goes to the D-League first, gets a little name for himself, get a couple notches in his belt, then come on over to the NBA on a 10-day contract. Now, let's talk about these cutscenes for a minute. Now, everybody knows that after the first year and even a year and a half into your my career the scenes get repetitive now how about we do this how about you give us a full year of cutscenes as a rookie and then for your second year give us another set of cutscenes and then kind of mix and match them as the years go along so for instance how about we bring in rookie hazing now of course you know there was this little cutscene where jr smith in my my career said hey um, I think somebody's calling for you or something like that. Go check it out. And a bucket of water fell on my head. How about they show that actual scene of me getting the water dumped on my bucket? Or, you know, in real life, how Deion Waiters had, like, what, uh, a crazy amount of peanuts in his, his uh, Jeep or something like that? Really bring in the rookie hazing where we got to go get players lunch and stuff like that. And, you know... We go to practice and, you know, we got to bring their shoes and, you know, we kind of kind of got to be something like a towel boy. I think that's how the rookie year should go. It shouldn't go from rookie to immediate superstar and you like blaze through every single cutscene, you know, in your first year. I think you should gradually make time up. So your first year, if you're on a 10 day contract, 
you shouldn't be able to be a 99 in your first year. It shouldn't be that easy. I think you should have a set of cutscenes that slowly progress you, not make you play every game and then you know you automatically boost your guy up. Kind of let the schedule gradually move itself. So say one guy plays three games within two weeks, something like that. So you can actually get a feel for the cutscenes and get a feel for the my career itself. Now, let's talk about this head coach stuff, man. Now, of course, you know, we had the assistant coach for every team. He was the same guy, and he was okay. He was great. But how about you let us to be able to just talk to the head coach exclusively? How about you go sit down with every coach in the NBA and get a couple, you know, voiceovers, a couple cutscenes done, you know, a couple imaging, something, because talking to this assistant coach that nobody knows, that he really never tells us his name at all, it gets too repetitive, and to be honest, it makes you not want to play the game. Every time he starts talking, I automatically hit the X button, yo. It's crazy. Now, check it out. How about we... No, I don't want to say that. How about you give us the ability to roam around our house slash apartment, the arena for practice, including drills and the locker room? Now, let's talk about this house slash apartment, for instance. Now, if you have an apartment where you're starting out, of course, that's cool. How about you roam around where, though, you know, the guy had a controller in his hand? How about with that controller, you can kind of morph into the shoot around? You know, as soon as his control, as soon as he puts a controller in his hand, you can kind of morph to a shoot around inside of that nice little shoot around gym part, right? Not just sitting in a chair and then get up. How about we do that? Now, how about with different things in the house, say with the Harden's jersey, you can point to the jersey and it can highlight and you can say, yo, that's James Harden jersey. Man, I need to get a new jersey, man. Something like that. Give us a nice little cutscene there. And for, say for instance, if you get a house because of a bigger contract, how about you able to go up and down the stairs? Uh, maybe when you get your Gatorade endorsement, you can open up the fridge and drink a couple Gatorades. Something like that. Give us some free roam in the house and apartment. Now, for instance, with practice for drills in the locker room, how about you actually let us do the catch and shoot drill, the shoot around drill, the scrimmages and everything like that inside of a practice gym. So say you say, uh, for instance, like how the park is, you can go to the Jordan Rec, Sunset, Rivet and stuff like that by morphing to that area. How about you let us walk out the door and it has an option to practice gym. And then when you get to practice gym, it has another option for locker room. So with the practice gym, you can shoot around, you can do all that, but you can also do your drills that you need to do. Now for the locker room, the locker room would just to be to look at your jersey, to look at your shoes that you might wear that next game or something like that. Or you can talk to that assistant coach and get a couple ideas on how to make your game better or something like that. Give us, give us something, man. Give us something nice. Now let's talk about gear for a minute. I want to be able to purchase all kinds of gear from every sponsor involved in NBA 2K. That means if I know I have to get a Nike contract to get the shoe, how about all the gear that just does not need to be signed? How about you just let us buy it, use it, and be happy with it? How about you let us be with Reebok or Under Armour or something like that? Let us wear that gear, man, because... It, I'm telling you now, it gets sad to see that I cannot even put on a pair of sneakers that I actually think looks good in my career because I don't have an endorsement. And then when I do get the endorsement, I still can't wear that shoe. It makes no sense. Now, with the whole gear thing, I think that, say for instance, you get like uh, Adidas, Nike, all of that. I just think it should come, down, come in like a little bundle pack. Because with NBA 2K, man, I think that you should be able to wear, like, Sprite stuff and State Farm stuff. Like, say, for instance, you know, the Cliff Paul suit or something like that. Let us be able to wear everything from every sponsor involved in NBA 2K, not just the sports sponsors. Let us use the drinking sponsors, the car. How about we ride in a Kia? How about that? How about we ride out in a Kia or something like that, man? A Kia Optima. That would be so dope, man. I'm just saying. Now, check it out. Shoes. Now, of course, I just said something about the shoes with, you know, 
Of course, you know, you want to be exclusive with Adidas, Nike, or Jordan. That's fine. But please let us wear every other shoe. No, Don't have us walking around in these dookie shoes from the moment we start the game until you get signed to a Jordan, Nike, or Adidas contract. Please let me wear some Reeboks. Please let me wear some some god darn Under Armour sneaks or something. Shoot, I put on Converse's, bro. Like, I will wear the Converse's. I will do it. I, I promise you I will. Just please let us wear something other than them dookie dookie shoots, man. Now, let's talk about jerseys for a moment. Now, NBA 2K promised that we will have, I guess you could say the alternate, but the Los Knights and everything. It was the Latin Knights and all of those type of jerseys, but they never came into the game. Now, of course, they talked about it, but the jerseys never actually showed up. I think that we should be able to wear alternate jerseys when it happens in the real life NBA. So if you look at an NBA schedule and you know that the team is supposed to be wearing the throwback jersey for that night, how about you put it in the game and actually make it work? Now, I will say if 2K invites me out this year, I will have a one on one with the my career head, my career dev out in Nevada and I promise you I will I will give him an earful for y'all man I promise but I really want to be able to wear those alternate jerseys for those teams I want to be able to wear a jersey with sleeves and stuff like that that would be dope now uh, the last thing before I get up out of here press conferences and interviews yo we need to be able to choose more answers like four and give us like 30 seconds to choose the right one not like five to ten seconds and then you know we picked the wrong one and also we need it to be fully written out we can't just say oh well pick that one because it says hey i'm dope but it'll be hey i'm dope and f you and f your mom and i don't want to play for this team and everybody sucks come on you got to give us a the whole entire paragraph of what he's actually going to say so we choose it the right way and interviews Interviews with Doris Burke is cool, but we need to have interviews with everybody, yo. We need to have interviews with the coaches, the the staff, media. Shoot, I talk to the water boy in the, as soon as I go back to the bench, yo. Real rap, I talk to anybody, I don't care. But give us choices, real life choices. But look, this is your boy IKC signing out. I'm about to run over my time. I only got about 10 seconds to say something. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you share the video. Make sure you leave a comment below. I will add certain things to my next video, which will be on gameplay and animations. This is your boy IKC signing out. Peace. King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I pop. King Carter, King Carter.